Well, welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra, exclusively on SNY.TV. Keith, it was a real shame. The Mets came out of blazing today, scoring three runs on the first in the first inning off Nathan Carnes, but uh, they gave it all back, and Syndergaard gave it all back in the bottom of the first. Well, Syndergaard's uh, troubles and woes to still uh, continue on the road. 0-5 now on the road. He was the pitcher of record. Ronnie, you said it. He three runs in the first mm -hmm. inning. The Mets spotted him. He gave up four right back. You saw the good fastball. We didn't see the location. And the location of any of his pitches wasn't very good. And, uh, you know, in the first inning, ball to Sizemore was right down the middle. Um, so it was just, you know, there was a it, it, certainly I'm not going to except I, I've seen the fact that that happens sometimes where the adrenaline just beats you down. But, you know, a lot of times you'll see fatigue. He wasn't tired. He just didn't have his command. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of a, a disappointing outing. His mom felt so good out there and uh, had tremendous movement on that changeup. Just couldn't really control it in certain times. Um, well, I mean, once I realized that they had uh, my fastball timed up, I just I knew I had to go to my breaking pitches. And uh, I feel like I made a good adjustment after the first inning. Um, tried to go as deep as I could, but only made it to the fourth. You know, when you go on the road, uh, the command of his pitches is not the same as it is at home. So whether it's the mound, uh, the difference in mounds, I don't know. That could be. Um, it's hard to say. That's a good question. I feel just as comfortable as I am when I'm at home. Um, but, you know, you got the, the home crowd there, so it makes it a little bit easier to pitch. It's just something I'm going to have to learn to deal with. Uh, Granderson on the Mets side hit two home runs, two solo shots, uh, had a good night at the plate. The Mets also struck out 15 mm. times today. The bullpen was sterling. Uh, the, the deciding run was scored in the bottom of the fourth with a two mm. out ground ball off the bat of Longoria. Routine ground ball, a little bit in the hole, and uh, Tejada had a hard time getting the ball out of the glove. Uh, didn't make the play, runner on third scored, and that was the difference in the ball game. 5 4 finish. He just couldn't get the ball out of his glove. That, you know, it happens when you play the infield. There's times when you reach in and, you know, you grab, uh, you, you don't get a good grip on the ball and you've got to get a grip on it, and that's what happened. Just one of those games where, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't mount anything. We had 15 strikeouts. That's not something we've been doing at all. So um, we'll get ready for tomorrow. And Carnes gets the win, and the difference really was last night the bullpen for Tampa Bay faltered. Tonight they did not with McGee and Boxberger. Boxberger with the save. So that'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra.